All right, so now um, I want to talk to you Casio people um, about how to create a histogram in your Casio uh, graphing calculator. So um, as we said in the module, you're going to need the data for our um, text messages sent per day from your notes. So uh, go ahead and grab those. <clears throat> and um, to start to graph a histogram, you need to go into your statistical um, menu. So if you hit the menu button um, and then arrow over to stat. Now this is where you're going to spend a lot of your time uh, in this class um, with all the calculations that we have to do, our, all of our statistical calculations and analyses. But as you see, this pulls up a list. Um, and so what we need to do now is type in our text message um, data into our list. So you go and pull up that table and all you do is type in 400 hit enter and then 28 hit enter, 20 and hit enter and you go ahead and type all of those in. Now if you want you can go ahead and pause the video um, and type those in and then we'll go from there. Okay so now that you have all your data typed in uh, it's time to create um, our um, histogram. So what you want to do is you should be looking at this screen right here uh, and we're going to want to go graph. So we hit graph. This is the menu that you have at the bottom now. You need to set your graph um, and we can just set graph one if you want. Uh, arrow down and we're going to choose not scatter plot. We don't want scatter plot. So arrow over. Uh, we don't want any of these options. Uh, but there's your histogram in F1. So we hit F1. Uh, we want to make sure that we're using list one and that our frequency for each of those data entries is one. Uh, and then we hit execute. Okay, so we've set our graph one. So now we're ready to uh, select, make sure that we turn on stat graph one. Mine's already on. If yours is not, hit. Uh, you can turn it off by hitting F2 or turn it on by hitting F1. And then we're going to draw. Okay, now here's where the histogram is going to want you to set where the window starts and then the width of your um, categories, right? Um, or uh, not categories, but your, your um, bandwidths, right? Your, your um, oh, it's the word I'm looking for, but the width of your bars, right? Um, and what we've done through the video was we kind of decided that 50 was a pretty good width. Um, we, uh, the histogram that we created by hand, we started at 0 0.5. So we want to start at 0 0.5, hit execute, and then 50 and hit execute. And then to have it draw the histogram, we hit execute again. And there's the histogram that we saw before. Okay. Um, there are zoom options. So you hit shift zoom um, and uh, here are some of those options zooming in and out uh, or uh, original square I'm not honestly I'm not really sure what some of these uh, do I haven't explored that yet um, but the nice thing about this is that it should set our window to where we can pretty well see um, the histogram the way we, that we want okay now we can hit shift F1 or trace and now we have a cursor above our top bar that will let us know that that bar starts at 0.5 and then there are eight dead data points in that first bar and if we arrow over we see the next bar starts at 50.5 uh, and there are 17 data points in that um, interval and then so on and so forth. And so we get our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight um, different um, sections or intervals here for our graph, um, which is what we had created by hand. And that's it. There's no messing with the window. Um, we can see everything pretty well right there. Fairly easy.